Before Turkesterone, Sarmed Goblins, Photoshopped Fake Natties, and Liver King, there was a man who wanted to get us laid. Get us huge and shredded, teach us responsible cycles, how to fight hair loss, and who had a mission to shake the supplement industry. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about- Derek, moreplacemoredates.com is likely one of the most prominent reasons supplement companies today need some integrity and transparency to succeed. Derek is the mind behind two well-known products. The first product carrying the same name as the company, Gorilla Mind, is a nootropic product to boost focus and productivity. It was eventually retired. The non-stim weaker version, Gorilla Mind Smooth, is still available. The second product, the Industry Shaker, contains a formula that no competitor can match at the time of its release, Gorilla Mode Pre-Workout. At the time of release, I've personally never had a pre-workout as expensive as Gorilla Mode. Uh, neither did I care at the time, right? So once a month, I would go to Walmart and I would buy Mr. Hyde pre-workout. Uh, it tasted good. It made me feel tingly. It had beta alanine in it and I had no idea what it did, but it was in there. It was a 30 serving pre-workout for less than $20. I think Walmart sells it for like 17. Why would I want to buy what I thought was the exact same product for 50 bucks? What a bunch of suckers everyone is, I thought. Obviously, I was an idiot. If I used the little seven gram scooper from Mr. Hyde, but with Gorilla Mode, I would have gotten a better experience with pre-workout and it also would have been cheaper. And I only realized this a few months ago, right? Just earlier this year. After this realization, I shopped and I shopped and I shopped. I looked at every pre-workout I could find. Either it was one I knew of for a long time, one being shoved in my face by an influencer or even an Instagram ad. I looked at all of them and slowly over several months, I bought all of them. Gorilla Mode and Greg's original pre-workout were the first ones I bought. So I was able to nab the cherry blackout flavor on sale and Greg's at regular price. Uh, this stuff was so expensive compared to Gorilla Mode. Uh, that's a story for another day. And when they came in, I thought the Gorilla Mode container was so sick. It's textured, the colors are pleasing, and the finishes differ between matte, gloss, and metallic. If I put Mr. Hyde in this container, I would at least be placeboed into the gorilla mindset. So I started using both of them, one scoop and a Rice Krispie treat. I'd alternate between them, Tuesday Gorilla Mode, Wednesday HDLT, Thursday Gorilla Mode, Saturday HDLT, Sunday Gorilla Mode. And then after only a week of testing, I was amazed. After years of using what was basically Holy just flavored shit, caffeine, horrible. I experienced the best pumps I've ever had in my life and workouts where I felt strong and focused on what was in front of me, the weights. After that first week of testing, it was the start of a new training week. So I upped the dose to two scoops, which is what the supplement facts shows. So two scoops is the full dose. Tuesday, two scoops of HTLT. Wednesday, two scoops Gorilla Mode. You get the gist. And after the end of that week of testing two scoops, I discovered two things. One, the full two scoop dose of these pre-workouts wielded huge benefits, even compared to the one scoop one. And two, I actually preferred Gorilla Mode over Greg's. There could be several reasons for this. I'm not sponsored anything, I'm not being paid. This is just a real life consumer user, that's me. Um, but the reasons that I come up with are one, as I stated earlier, possibly placebo. I didn't say placebo, but um, basically the marketing, the branding, the container, uh, the athlete behind Gorilla Mode um, could have influenced how I felt about the product. It would be in the morning and I would be scooping my Gorilla Mode into my shaker uh, cup bottle thing. And just the way that the Gorilla Mode container looks is enough for me to feel good about using it. But with Greg's container for his first pre-workout, it was extremely bland. Even my dad agreed that Greg's pre-workout container was bland. In fact, I'm pretty sure um, Greg originally showed this pre-workout with like a different lid that said HTLT on it and was yellow. And now it's just like really bland. It tasted good, but the marketing and the container and the design was not too interesting. Honestly, the sticker and graphic design of uh, this pre-workout looks worse than something that I would be able to do in a day's time or even just like two hours.
And then another reason is it's possibly true that Gorilla Mode is just formulated better. So the individual ingredients in each pre-workout, um, knowing what they do, they can sound like they will work well on paper, right? You have pump products and focus products, uh, stimulants and so on. But in the real world use of a product, it's going to feel different than what you wrote on paper, right? It might uh, not, they might like interfere with each other. It might not feel that smooth. This might actually be true because Greg's pre-workout is act has actually been discontinued as of a, a few months ago and has been replaced with pre-workout 2.0. I will be reviewing this in a separate video. I actually like this pre-workout um, before you get ahead of yourself and think that I don't like it. I actually like it, but that's for another video. And for comparison, I have some of this like Walmart tier pre-workout from Revolution Nutrition. It's their cheapest pre-workout. And the serving on the back says that a full scoop of it is, I think 15 grams. No, half a scoop is actually 8.5 grams, making a full scoop 17 grams. So a full scoop is 17 grams. And I tried doing that for a week to compare to these pre-workouts. And the 17 gram scoop of Revolution actually felt worse than the one scoop servings of these premium pre-workouts from Greg and Derek. So what exactly is in Gorilla Mode pre-workout? Labels are just labels. What it says may not be 100% true, as you know, with some recent events, but I'll still go over it. So first it has L-citrulline, which boosts nitric oxide production in the body and improves blood flow creatine monohydrate, we all know what this does, regenerates ATP, increasing strength and power output, it may increase muscle mass, and it may increase cognitive performance. Glycer pump, 65% glycerol powder. When glycerol is in the blood, it attracts water, making water stay in the body longer, um, which means you can exercise for longer and also get a sick pump. Malic acid has anti-fatigue and endurance boosting benefits. Betaine anhydrous assists in rehydration of cells and improves endurance. L-tyrosine improves focus and elevates mood. Agmatine sulfate boosts nitric oxide production, elevates mood, and may increase pain tolerance. Kana lowers stress, elevates mood, and increases focus. Caffeine anhydrous increases power output, lowers fatigue, and may increase cognitive performance. And phenethyl dimethylamine citrate mimics actions of adrenaline, noradrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin. Bioparine prolongs breakdown of the cognitive enhancing ingredients in the formula, which extends how long they work for and increases the bioavailability of them. Um, in short, Derek said that it just makes stimulants hit harder and last longer. Huperzine A enhances memory, focus, and overall cognitive functions. It is one of the most potent nootropics on the market and according to Derek, complements the rest of the formula perfectly. And this touches on one of the reasons why I thought that Gorilla Mode might be better than the first um, HTLT pre-workout. It may have been formulated by Derek with one of the things being like a well-rounded, smooth pre-workout. I've been using Gorilla Mode for eight months now, and through this time, I've been buying different pre-workouts to see if I can find anything better um, I like elements of all of them, but Gorilla Mode has become my comfort pre-workout. Um, one of the reasons is honestly because of cost. If you get it on sale, it will bring it down to 80 cents a scoop. If you get the minimum for free shipping, if that's even available in your country, that also makes Gorilla Mode the most affordable out of the premium pre-workout I've used. I use one scoop for most workouts, but I use two scoops on the days that I deadlift since I'm trying to constantly PR. And I recently hit a 410 pound deadlift PR on it. And then the week before 405 pounds, which is a huge milestone for me. So out of 10, I rate Gorilla Mode a strong eight. It's the pre-workout that I recommend to all of my friends, asterisk as long as they can get it on sale. And it's the most affordable premium pre-workout I've used. It's better tasting than you'd think for its formulation. And it gives me a clean, focused feeling that I associate with PRs. Plus it's been pretty well pushed into my brain um, what Gorilla Mode is associated with because of all the athletes, um, the sponsored athletes they have. Code Jam on Gorilla Minds. Uh, the supplements are what got me big, not the fucking trend, you know? And so I leave two points in case I enjoy any pre-workout more. Um, you know, could be Greg's, could even just be Gorilla Mode Nitric. It could be Chris Bumstead's anything. 
We'll see you in the future when I upload more videos about the pre-workouts. More pre-workout reviews coming soon. Um, all of them will be using Gorilla Mode as a standard or a comparison point. And please subscribe. My current goal is a thousand subscribers. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Have a good day or night. Juice. All right, Dad, would you like between Gorilla Mode and Greg's first pre-workout? Um, which one do I like between the two? Yeah, what do you like better? Uh, I like both of them, but uh, Gorilla has a little more edge. All right, now what do you think about these two, Gorilla Mode and Greg's second pre-workout? Uh, same thing, both great. Um, Gorilla, a little bit of edge. All right, what about these two? What about Gorilla Mode and Wrecked? No, girl, girl's a bit of an edge. Yeah, bit of an edge. <laughs>